It was a Thursday night when I first saw you. Those green eyes caught me. Yeah, it was crazy. It was a Friday night when I first kissed you. You struck me like lightning. You broke my chains and released me. And they turned into nights on the couch in your apartment. No, I am not the same. Everything has changed. Every day. Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video we're going to be tackling the upstairs of my home and doing some deep cleaning. The upstairs of my home is always a struggle. I feel like the downstairs I can just knock out without even thinking about it but the upstairs I always dread coming up here and cleaning. I think it's just because um, I know it's a lot more time consuming and a lot more detailed. So if you guys need a ton of motivation today, I'm gonna be helping you out with that in today's video by tackling my upstairs. And we're gonna go ahead and start here in my boy's bathroom. We are kicking off cleaning in here from top to bottom. So we went ahead and cleaned the mirror in here with my favorite spray away cleaner that you see here on the screen. And now I'm going to wipe down the vanity, the sink and the faucet using my Clorox wipes. Let me know down below in the comments if you live in a single story home or a two story home like I do. I feel like I can never have the downstairs and the upstairs clean at the same time. The struggle is absolutely real here in this house, but I wanna know how you guys do it in your homes. Do you clean your house all at once when you leave when you live in a single story or do you kind of tackle it by like splitting the house in half kind of like I do living in a two story home a lot of the times I'll take one day and tackle the downstairs and another day to tackle the upstairs so I could typically get my whole house clean within 2 days so I'm just wondering how you all do it in your homes and I will come When I clean in my home, I'm all about convenience. And so I keep a box of trash bags here in the boys' bathroom cabinet. That way I don't have to go all the way downstairs to empty out these trash cans. And I can just move around the upstairs and then any trash or anything that needs to be thrown away, I already have the bags here. I also have a cleaning caddy here upstairs. That way it's less running around from bathroom to bathroom or if I need to go downstairs, I have everything in this caddy that can just kind of move around the house with me. I ain't a person who understands all the clockwork of our romance. Now we are jumping into my bathroom. Since I was already in bathroom cleaning mode, I decided to go ahead and just come over here and knock out my bathroom. And then we will move out into the rest of the upstairs. We're gonna tackle my bedroom and then the playroom, the desk area, and then the boys' bedrooms as well. And then I'm gonna go back to the boys' bathroom in a little bit and mop. Um, and then that'll finish up the whole upstairs. Going with the same order I did in the boys' bathroom, we are starting with the mirrors and working our way down to the vanities and then the floors. Searching for the truth 
I am so excited to share that today's video is sponsored by Ana Luisa. So thank you so much to Ana Luisa for sponsoring today's video. Now I've worked with this brand a few times before and I love to continue to share great finds when I come across them. And in case you've never heard of Ana Luisa, it's a jewelry brand with a simple but clear cut idea, it has high quality jewelry that doesn't cost the planet. Ana Luisa is a brand where values meet standards and everything is priced fairly and produced ethically. So there's no unnecessary mining or excessive markups. They use recycled materials whenever possible and they're also 100% carbon and water neutral. Today I am showcasing three of my favorite pieces on the website right now. You just saw the Dobie earring, which is a 14 karat gold more dangly earring and these low medium 14 karat gold plated hoops, which these are my favorite. I'll be wearing these every single day. And then my other favorite thing on the website right now is the Aura bracelet. And the thing that caught my eye about this one is it looks like a watch band to me. And so I love to pair it with my Apple watch that I wear every single day and it still gives me that watch look. I also wanted to share with you guys how affordable that these pieces are. With some pieces starting at just $29, it makes a great option for you to be able to shop for yourself or maybe you want me to shop for a gift for somebody. It is absolutely budget friendly. And right now you can even shop for 20% off site wide. I could seriously scroll their website for hours looking at all the beautiful necklaces and rings and earrings that they have. Let me know down below in the comments if you guys have heard of Ana Luisa before. If not, I will have a link down below in the description box where you guys can shop and check it out for yourself. Again, don't forget to take advantage of the amazing 20% savings. And thank you again so much to Ana Luisa for sponsoring today's video. But kinda new Ooh. Tell me you're feeling it too Ooh. And love me like yesterday I love to be open with you guys and chat with you and get your opinions. I'm really thinking about changing my channel name. Um, I kind of jumped into YouTube with both feet and now that I'm kind of getting more established, I've got an amazing community here. I really wanted to make this space my own and more unique to me and i don't go by katie sarah in like real life people don't call me katie sarah my name is just katie and so i would really like to change my channel name to something that's more suiting to me so i wanted to kind of pick your guys's brains on that 
Um, this is a business for me. Like I am like a legal corporation in the state of California and everything. And my name is under typically Katie Media. So I'm thinking about changing my channel name to typically Katie. I feel like it just rolls off the tongue and it's easy to remember. So I just wanted to throw that out there in case in the near future you guys don't see Katie Sarah coming across your screen. It may say typically Katie. So before I do that, I just wanted to kind of put that out into the universe and kind of bounce the idea off, with the, off of you guys and see what you all think. I didn't want to bore you all with folding laundry. I've been so behind on laundry, so I've had a ton of laundry motivation in my videos lately. So I decided to forego the folding and just use a little bit of editing magic and just skip to the good part where everything is folded. And then I had the boys help me put everything away. And now we're going to move on to clearing the clutter off of the nightstands and getting everything dusted off. As you can see, this fan in our bedroom is severely neglected. I think I've cleaned every fan in the house except for ours. So we're gonna take care of that right now using my good old pillowcase trick that I showed you guys in my other videos. Um, but in case you guys are new here, you just take an old pillowcase and you're able to slip it over the fan blade and just wipe towards yourself. And that catches any of the dust money, bunnies or dust that were um, on top of the blade. And that way it's not falling all over your bed in my case here or all over your couch or all over your room. It actually catches all of those dust bunnies. And then I'm able to go and just um, wipe off any residual.
and bathroom is done. So while I have the mop up here, I'm gonna bounce right back over to the boys' bathroom and I'm going to mop in here. And then we're gonna actually jump into the next day. This is all the cleaning that I had time for on day one. So here on day two, I'm just gonna pick up right where I left off and I'm going to start again upstairs. But this time we're gonna be tackling the kids' play area. Just get me out of here. Time I clean in here I always feel like it's an Easter egg hunt for like socks and dirty clothes when my kids get home from school like off come the socks off come the pants off come the sweaters so it's a pretty high chance that when I come in here and clean I'm going to find maybe a missing sock that I couldn't find or a pair of pants that we couldn't find and we've been looking for and sure enough there was all kinds of clothes just thrown all over the place in here to be afraid just for lonely you don't need no space just follow me like a mirror you reflect me like the boys were actually at school when i started this area and then i had to stop what i was doing and then i went and picked them up and then came back so you will see them pop up in my video in the next like few minutes um, they actually had pajama day at school this day. It was so cute. I loved hearing all about their day. It was actually a week full of different things. I think it was like reading across America or something. So it's like one day was like dress crazy. One day was like crazy hair days, uh, character day, stuff like that. Well, this happened to be pajama days. So you'll see Colton pop in here shortly and he's in PJs. Don't jump into that car tonight. I'm not leaving. Like a Friday night on the weekend I feel blessed and free I just don't want this moment to end These shelves I put in here specifically for my kids' Legos that they build. They're very into Lego sets and building and they do about 90% of it on their own. It's pretty impressive. Um, but some of the stuff that they build like this are pretty intricate and they want to keep them safe. So having the ability to build their sets and then display them on these shelves was very, very huge for them. But now it's more of just like a jumbled mess on these shelves because not all of their Legos are for display, but they'll start building them and then um, they'll have them for a little bit and then they'll play with like the different um, Mario levels and stuff that are Legos and then they just get taken back apart. And now some of these Legos are just like shoved on here. So I'm gonna leave those and I'm gonna let the boys come in here and kind of decide, okay, what is a finished set that you just built and it's gonna stay there? And what are Legos that you're actually going to build things, take them apart and actually play with? My boys have been really into drawing lately and they love to put on, I think it's called Art for Kids Hub or something like that here on YouTube. And it's a dad and a son 
um, and they draw together. So the dad usually picks like a character or a theme and then he shows his kid how to draw it and it's really like easy step-by-step -step instructions and my boys have been sitting right here at the desk and doing drawings and then coloring them in and building Legos and homework and stuff. All that happens here on this desk so it's been getting used a lot more lately than it has maybe in the past few weeks and I love seeing them be creative. We definitely have to get into the better habit of cleaning up after ourselves because this desk area I'll clean it off like this and then it'll get to the point to where you can't even see the wood on top. Yesterday, we pulled these bath mats out of the boys' bathroom. I got them washed and dried, and now I'm just gonna lay them back in here, and the bathroom is officially clean and fresh. A couple of things that I really want to tackle for my spring cleaning is I really want to go through the boys' closets and drawers and get rid of things that they've outgrown. And then Rylan is my older one, so a lot of the things that he's outgrown I'm able to pass down to Colton. And then um, it can take the spots of the things in Colton's closet that he grew out of and then I just take them to the donation center because a lot of their clothes still have a lot of life so I'm able to donate them. Um, so I really want to do that and then I can go through and see if they need any more shorts or any regular t-shirts, anything like that. And then um, I can go out and get them the things that they need. So that is a huge part of my spring cleaning process. So that'll be coming up here pretty soon. Let me know if you guys also need to go through your kids' closets and drawers or maybe even your own closets. Um, let me know down below if you do that during the spring like I do. Um, another thing that I've been just dying to tackle is my pantry, but I have a very large pantry and it is going to be a huge undertaking because there's so much stuff in there. So let me know if you guys want to see like an extreme pantry clean and organized. Um, that would probably be its own video in itself. So I just really want to be careful about, you know, what I film and what I put out there because I want to make sure that it's enjoyable for everyone. I don't ever make my family be on camera. This is my YouTube channel and when I clean, I take full responsibility of taking on the whole cleaning process. So my family does pitch in a lot off camera, but when I'm filming, that is, it's my channel and I would never force my husband or my kids to ever be on camera. So 
I usually leave it up to them. Like if I'm filming and you go in front of the camera and you start helping and cleaning, that is on you. Um, so every once in a while, you'll see my boys pop on camera, like Colton helped me with the pillows and the stuffed animals. Um, he just has to be in the mood for it. Both my kids are, I think sometimes they like the attention and like seeing themselves on screen. And then there's other days they're like, nope, I want nothing to do with it. So I kind of just leave that up to them. So a lot of times when I pick up the camera, I take sole responsibility for cleaning. I don't expect anyone else to help me because this is my job and my channel. So I thought that was really sweet that Colton felt like pitching in today. I got you and you got me too. So I don't know if I've ever shared this before or not, but Colton's bed and dresser was actually like our original bedroom set from when we got pregnant with our first kid, Rylan. And this bed actually is the convertible style where it was actually a crib and then it turns into a toddler bed and then it turns into a full, which is what it is right now. So it actually worked out so great because when I got pregnant with Colton, we were able to upgrade Rylan to this bedroom set that you see here and then pass the bedroom set that Colton has onto Colton. And he got to use it as a crib as well into the toddler bed and then now into the full. So it actually started out as Rylan's crib set and now it's Colton's in his room. I would love to uh, um, replace it eventually. But it's kind of bittersweet because it's the original set from, you know, when we started our family and we've had it for 10 years now. So it could definitely stand to be replaced, but it's also very sentimental to me. Colton's room is all clean and ready to be made into a mess again. I mean, having small kids, it's just inevitable. But now bouncing over to Rylan's room, he doesn't spend a whole lot of time in here. They play a lot in the playroom. And then he's gone through a phase where he's been sleeping with Colton in his room. Um, so just a lot of dust in here and then some light um, picking up of some toys and then just fixing his bed. He does make his bed, but not as good as mom can do it. So we're not going to spend a whole lot of time in here. It's more so just maintenance cleaning. I will say next time we replace the boys bedroom sets which I'm hoping to um, this next year I want to give them both new bedroom sets we'll definitely be not going with dark wood because the dust shows on everything it's awful so as I was vacuuming I realized there was a thick layer of dust over the top of his headboard and then of course his dresser just like his nightstand always gets super dusty too we should never be afraid
All right, everyone, that is gonna do it for today's video. I really had to focus on this upstairs. It gets out of control so quickly. I feel like I could take care and manage the downstairs much better than the upstairs, but we tackled it today and I feel so much better. So let me know down below in the comments if you guys were able to tackle some cleaning along with me while you guys enjoyed today's video. Also, please do not forget to check out Ana Luisa. I'm wearing these earrings today and I got so many compliments from some of the cashiers, my mom, and I love their brand and I know that you will too. Again, I will have the link down below in the description box with a promo code if you guys want to check them out for yourself. Also, if you enjoyed today's video, if you could hit that like button really quick before you go, it helps me out a ton and just takes a second. Also, don't forget to subscribe before you leave today. Other than that, everyone, I'll see you in the next video.